I normally put my DSLR cameras on top of this star tracker, but this time I'm going to try my Samsung's phone's famous 10X camera. Considering that these phones are allowing you to long exposure manually in Pro mode and deliver raw images, I want to give it a try. Before trying, I have to make sure that I'm avoiding from the city light pollution by looking at the light pollution map to find a dark zone. Color here represents the light pollution levels. It is also called bottle scale. And to be able to capture Oster images, you need to be in the at least bottle six or lower bottle zone. Besides big cities, I have to avoid moon too. There are planetarium apps, you can easily check the moon faces, also find your target in the dark sky. Orion Nebula is pretty bright and easy to find for beginners, but using 10x camera and finding a target in the dark sky is hard. Orion is fairly close to us, around 1300 light years away from Earth. It's a dim target and not visible to naked eye. I will go and open the camera and go to settings, picture formats, turn on raw imaging and choose more and select pro mode after aiming your phone to the target. This fuzzy patch you can see here is our nebula. It's easier to center your target starting with the wide angle and switching to 10x camera after. Digitally zooming in to see any bright star to focus and changing my shutter speed to 20 seconds. And I will keep my ISO at 640. I will go to manual focus and try my best with the help of green focus peaking feature. After this part I will turn on my star tracker and press the shutter button for a test shot. 10x camera started capturing the long exposure now. At the same time, the star tracker beneath the camera started rotating the phone in the counter direction of the Earth's rotation. If you try to capture this on a fixed tripod, you have to lower your shutter speed to 2 seconds instead of 20 seconds to avoid star trails. Let's see what we have. It records one raw DNG image and one JPEG version of the same image and I need to take multiple images of the same shot and to take multiple shots without touching the phone there's an app called intervalometer. This app presses the shutter button automatically without touching the phone. I just need to show where's the shutter button first by using the red target icon and press start. I will leave the phone on the star tracker for about an hour until I reach 200 pictures. After one hour, I will stop the intervalometer and check the images. I will also delete the JPEGs and only use the raw images. JPEG images are a post process for noise reduction and extra sharpness, that is why I will only use the raw DNG images. The images with the aperture icon on top is showing the raw copies. Some of the images are not sharp because of the vibration or the wind, but that is normal. Uh, I just need to choose the best raw images and delete the rest. This is how a single raw image looks like, without any editing.
After choosing the best RAW images and transferring into my PC, I will double check them overall before stacking. There are a few free stacking apps, but my favorite is Deep Sky Stacker. And when you open the Deep Sky Stacker, I will click Open Picture Files on top left and click Check All and press Register Check Pictures button. I won't go to details and use the most recommended settings and press OK. And this process can take some time depending on your computer's speed. After 30 minutes, my stacked image is ready and saved. I will close this app and go to my picture files because the stacked final image is saved there already. It's named as autosave. And I have Photoshop already, but if you don't have it, you can download the free trial from the link in the description. And now open the image with Photoshop. And first thing I will go and change the bitrate to 16 bit and duplicate the layer. After that, I need to stretch the stored light information by going to levels. I need to repeat this process multiple times to stretch the images as much as possible without losing or clipping any light data. Repeating the same process again and again. I'm going to crop the image. The last part is going to the camera raw filter to pull more details from the that stretched TIFF image and bumping up the saturation, playing with the clarity and the haze. By the way, the settings I'm showing here might not work for your specific image and every image will be different. So I'm just trying to show you the gen general process to, of how to stack and level stretch the stack image. Feel free to try these features in Photoshop to make it work for your specific image. Considering that the final stacked image is a huge TIFF file with lots of stored light and color information, um, you can go crazy with the editing without burning the image.
After going to the camera raw filter multiple times, I can save the edited image as JPEG or PNG. It's crazy that you can achieve this image by using Galaxy S21, S22 and S23's Ultra and their 10X camera. I will leave all the technical details and necessary links in the description below and if you have any specific question, you can ask me in the comment section.